What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Okay, so why are we back here in, uh, let's see, uh, this town right here for you. Hold on. There's the town map. I found it. Holy crap, after a few episodes. But yes, here. Why are we back in Jubilife City? Now, there is a little something here that I forgot to get, or I should have gotten, in our side quest, and I'm just going to do it right now. So, after we've won a few badges, there may be one or two things that we can do. One of them is going into the PV station. I think you guys already know where I'm going with this. But, there's a little something here that we need to get. Let's see, this is the Pokemon Lottery Center. Draw your numbers. Okay, this is not the person. Yeah, I'm not going to do the lottery. I'm not much of a gambler. So, if you go upstairs right here, you're going to be finding an individual that will actually help you out with a little something something. Here we go. Star tomorrow is you. Your Pokemon has a glow about it. So a gift, a gift for our future star, and look at that, we get ourselves three fire stickers B. Yeah, he, that, that's pretty much not, that's, yeah, that's not what we're going to get, but there's something else that we need to, we actually need to get around here. So let's see, where, oh, where can I find this guy? Oh, look at that. <laughs> uh, hey, here, you can, uh, you can see the experienced gym leader's capsule decorations. Really? Oh, look at this. Okay, so right now I've only faced two gym leaders. And would you like to try the same decoration? Oh no, 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 no! But I guess if you come in here and get all eight gym badges, they are actually going to have like the the kind of uh, decorations that their Pokemon may have and all that stuff, which is great, guys, for you know count contests and all that stuff. Now let's go right up here, and there should be ah uh, here we go. If you talk to this guy, he's going to be like, "Hey there, how's it going? I'm the TV producer here." Can I get your opinion about something to help improve the future programming? Pro programming, yes. Thanks. Just trying to feel, uh, get a feel for our viewers' preferences, you know. So, what kind of TV programs do you like? Uh, <laughs> well, I don't really watch TV in real life, but let's go ahead and go. Let's see, the Secret Club, Area One Five Collection. There we go. Oh, the fact that you know what phrase uh, tells me that you're uh, someone I in the know. You're a Pokemon trainer, right? I'll pull some strings for you. I think I can get you a swing, uh, swing of the deal, so you'll give, be able to get a mystery gift. Okay. Can I get a mystery gift? Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Let's go right ahead and uh, go with the rack em up records. Okay, and reference here's stickers. Okay, we're gonna be getting stickers now. I think we already got the the mystery gift option. Yes, we do. Look at that. We got the mystery gift option. Let's go ahead and ask him again. See what? Okay, that's pretty much it. And I realized something. It's going to be great. I traded lots of Pokemon. I'll have, I'll have a better chance of winning the Pokemon lottery. Okay. And, uh, well, I think that's pretty much it. Now, the, you know what's funny, guys, is that, you know, I used to think that the Pokemon lottery was based off of, like, your your own uh, Pokemon ID. And I think your Pokemon ID changes with every Pokemon. Yeah, I was proven wrong. And then, like, see, so your exploits are fantastic. With our TV station, we can tell the whole world about you. It's merely one of the uh, many possibilities. Huh. Okay. I think that's pretty much it right there. Now, that's one thing that we can do. Let's go ahead and uh, see what we can actually find on the next one. Let's go ahead and talk to this lady. Let's go straight back down. We're facing her. I'm not even moving. And here we are. Okay, back to floor number one. We are. We already got the mystery gift option. Yes, I already know. But there is another thing that we can actually do right here. And that is, we can go straight to, let's see, hold on just a sec, right here. We can go into this building and talk to the individual that gave us the Poketech app. And let's see, where is he? Uh, is it him? Oh, you can be sure I'll be keep, I'll keep developing Poketech apps. Just like Pokemon, my Poketech is something that evolves, not him. Okay, if you talk to him, hi, hi. I'm the president of the Poketech app, or company. Hi, hi, your patience is rewarded. I've developed a new Poketech app. We get ourselves a memo pad Poketech app, which is cool. And uh, let's see, what else do you give us, man? Okay, that's two. Let's see, what else? Oh, huh, we haven't earned three badges. So, yeah, for I believe every three, three badges or so, he'll actually give us the Poketech app. Some pretty useful ones. So we're going to be going back there pretty soon. Now, before we cut into the next segment right here, guys, we have the mystery gift. So now this will enable us to do something right here, okay? Let's go right ahead and get onto the via internet right here. I never done this in uh, like in a live walkthrough, but there are two gifts that we can actually get right here. The Manaphy egg gift, 
which many of you guys already know, we will be able to get a mana fee. And just like that, bam, we're getting a mystery gift right here. Look at this. We get a mana fee egg, and uh, it, it, it doesn't look so much different, or it looks so much different from the regular eggs. Okay, so that's one. Go check your Pokemon back box, and now the other one is the clothing gift. If you guys don't know, Nintendo or Pokemon are gi is giving us the option to switch out our clothes to the Pokemon Platinum version clothes. And, uh, well, let's see, you can't really see it right here, but that's, yeah, that's two of them right there. Okay, I'm pressing the buttons right here, come on, give me my app. Okay, so here we have Pokemon Platinum style. So that, those are the two gifts right here. Now let's go straight to, not the options, but let's go straight to the bag. And we can actually go, let's see. Let's see, Poffin Case, Explorer Kit, Bike, huh. Oh, you know what? We probably have to go straight to the uh, Pokemon Center to get dressed up or something. Let's go ahead and, and take a look at this. Let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, let's see, where, oh where? Uh, no, that's to restore the Pokemon. Uh, let's see. So let's check, take a look at the Poketech app. As you can see, we got a few. Here we have the new app that we got. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Can't draw with a crud. Uh, let's see. What's the next one? We got a counter. We got the Pokemon stats and, uh, you know, how they love us. The dowsing machine. Hidden moves. We got a time. And, yeah, that's pretty much it right there. Now, I'm trying to figure out how do we change... Hold on, how do we change here? Lexi, 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 Lexi. How do we do this? I can get this, guys, I swear I can get this. Uh, Lexi. Tiny Mushroom. We got TMs. Mama gave us a, a tuxedo. Lexi, we got berries, we got that. We got that. And we got all of that. Okay, so, I'm only assuming Huh. Let's see, let's see. How do we how do we find out about this? Okay. Uh the mystery gift. Let's go back to the mystery gifts. Check my mystery gifts. Okay, there we go. So the clothing gift right here. And the manaphy egg. Huh. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna skip forward guys with the Pokemon and everything and probably I'm gonna figure out how to get these things on me. It's been a while since I've actually done it, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys, so I did a little bit of, uh, you know, bicycle riding just to get this whole, ev uh, not evolution, but this whole hatching. And as you can see right here, we got ourselves Manaphy. And, uh, yeah, look at this Pokemon right here. It's very mythical, very awesome, very water-like and all that stuff. As you can see, Manaphy, the seafaring Pokemon. One foot, three pounds of pure nothing. Born on a cold sea floor, it will soon or it will swim great distances to return to its birthplace. Now, I'm not gonna give this guy a little nickname or anything like that. As you can see, it took like 2,027 steps to actually get this guy to hatch. Now, it is known to be the Pokemon, the only mythical Pokemon to actually uh, to actually uh, breed and all that crud. So that's a that's that's a pretty good thing because eventually. We're going to breed this guy into uh, getting Fionn and all that stuff. Unfortunately, we don't have a Ditto with us or anything. I could trade one, but that's going to have to wait for later on. As you can see, yes, on Christmas, it was, uh, we got him. It was born on Christmas. Merry Christmas to you guys. And it does have hydration as its ability, heal status conditions when it's raining. And it has two moves, Tail Glow and uh, Water Gun. Tail Glow, what is this? The user stares at flashing lights to focus his mind. Drastically raising its special attack, which is pretty cool. Now, I was looking for, I was actually looking for the place to change my my character's clothes, and it turns out that I had to actually go to Veilstone City for that. So we're gonna have to wait on that and actually go back to or go to Veilstone City. So let's go right ahead and do that, and actually take this thing off right here. Alrighty, so to Veilstone we are going, and. Uh, Took us quite a bit, but you know what? We finally did it. Okay, so let's talk to Homegirl right here. Okay, if I can get off my bike. Nope, that's the wrong one. Okay, let's go right ahead. God dang it. See, this is what happens when you have stubby fingers. Okay, there's a wrecked stone pillar up ahead. I wonder what it is. I get, It's got me very curious. It is very, very, very curious and all that stuff. So, 
Here we are, guys, Route 209, and, well, we're going to be meeting some Pokemon trainers. We're going to be battling. We're going to be doing some stuff. Lots and lots of stuff right here. Okay. So here we go, going up against Breeder Albert. And, uh, well, he's coming out with his Bonsai. Bonsai. I think it's Bonsai because, you know, it, 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 it does resemble a Bonsai tree, right? I could be wrong. I don't know. Okay, so let's go right ahead and start dominating everybody we see around here. Everybody, and I mean everybody. And, well, look at that. It has Sturdy, so it has one more HP, and here comes the Flail Attack. And this one actually hits us pretty hard just because it's at one HP. Really, really big one HP and all that crud. So there we go. Bonsai just defeated, destroyed, wrecked with a T on there. And, uh, well, here comes a Pichu. This guy's got himself some uh, baby Pokemon. Definitely don't want to mess with that. <laughs> Definitely don't want to mess with the baby Pokemon. I do want to actually get myself a Pichu. So let's go with Rosemon right here. Let's see what Rosemon can actually do. Look at that, Rosemon. Looking pretty cool. And, well, let's go right ahead and use an Absorb. Now, eventually, I'm going to have to teach this Pokemon a little bit better moves and crud. And... Well, there we go. There we go. And, well, here comes a Thundershock. That is, a uh, That right there is, a uh, is something. But here we go again one more time. Let's go straight for a freaking Absorb, and there it is, guys. Absorb attack for the win. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. And uh, no more. No freaking more right there. And just like that, Ultra Sucker grows to level 27, which is great. And, well, he's about to come out with a Badoo. So let's go straight back to... Well, let's go to Inferno Mon right here. Let's do it. Let's get it. Time to destroy everybody. Let's go. Alrighty, okay, let's go. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Let's go straight for a flame a flame wheel attack right here. And, well, there we go. Look at that. <laughs> and just like that, we have defeated another Pokemon trainer. And I do believe we're in an area right here where we can actually get ourselves a our, our good old friend, Ralts, if I'm not mistaken but we're not going to do that. Okay, so let's go right ahead and switch out Pokemon. And you know what? Let's go ahead and start using other Pokemon to walk together. Look at that. We're going to be walking with... Wow, he is totally... <laughs> he looks like a worm. Holy crud. Okay, so never mind. Let's go ahead and... Uh... You know what? Let's go ahead and have Ultra Psycho walk with me. Look at this. He's floating. He doesn't even want to walk. And let's go ahead and swap... And go with Electro Star just in case we face a water type Pokemon trainer. He's like, hmm, a good rod is really good, wouldn't you agree? Yes, I do. And we get ourselves a good rod, which, well, it's actually going to help us out with uh, better Pokemon. And uh, yeah, I do not need to, I do, I do not need explanations or anything like that. So let's go right ahead and uh, talk to this guy. You jog every morning too? Yes, I do. And let's go straight for the double battle of our lives right now. Okay, alrighty. Bring it. Just bring it. Kind of like what The Rock says, just bring it. So here we go. Bonsley and uh, Mom Jr. ready to go at it. And... Uh... <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Here we go. Let's get it. Okay, alrighty. Alrighty, so we're intimidating everybody with both Pokemon right here. Let's go straight for a Spark Attack, and let's go straight for a Waterfall Attack right here. Anywho, guys. Anywho, yes, I am currently recording this whole thing via Christmas time, alright? I just want to say thank you to every single one of you guys out there for helping me achieve 10k. For helping me, you know, continue on for 11 years strong right here on YouTube. Huge thanks to all you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And, you know, I get it. I do have a lot of Pokemon games going on right now, but, you know, I'm finding the time to do everything. As of right now, I am looking at a pretty good, uh, at a pretty good thing coming up uh, in 2022. Very, very cool thing. Stepping it up again. You guys already know Draven. He always steps it up with some kind of a material and all that stuff and hopefully it will actually work out for years to come because you know I have been learning how to do better uh, vi uh, videography and then on top of that you know trying to incorporate that with my YouTube and all that crud you know just to make this 
just to make YouTube my or my YouTube thing right here a little bit better for you guys to watch. I've been getting good compliments about how I have most of the games, most of the Pokemon games all in one channel. Some of them are good, some of them are bad, but you know what? The good, the bad, it's all good constructive criticism for me right here. So, you guys really think that, you know, a, a crude comment right here would actually affect me? Really not. All I can do is just, all I can do is, uh, you know, is just learn from it and then just move on to the next thing. That's why I ask you guys, if you guys have any suggestions around here or if you guys know of anything around here, please comment down below. You guys are more than welcome to. Now... Next to you. Talking to this guy, I'm so happy to you come with this. Please take a token of our friendship, and we get ourselves three Flora stickers, which is great. Okay. The, because we met the Pokemon chairman or something like that. Anywho, like I was saying, guys, all constructive criticism. I do get that there are some people out there that just like to, to be downright dirty with the comments and all that stuff. And, you know, it's kind of like a kitchen window. If you scream in my kitchen window, I have the ability to shut the window. You know? It's kind of like the block button. You just do that, and you have no more issues and all that stuff. So let's uh, let's see what we got right here. Grab this. We found ourselves another honey jar. And what is this person doing here? Hey, yeah, yay! I'm training for a super contract show contest show with my Bibarel here. Bibarel, pretty cool Pokemon. All right, let's move on. Okay, let's see. Uh, I do believe the. Oh yeah, the stone is right here somewhere, and then we're not gonna need that. All right, let's see. So as you can see right here, guys, this is the yes, this is uh, the stone for the odd key stone and all that crap. I'm not gonna put it in just yet because I need to do a little bit more research on what to do in order to get spirit tomb and all that crud. Like I was mentioning before, comment down below. Let me know what it is. That way I can research it. If you have, if you guys have a YouTube video I can go to, then just comment down below. Uh, let's see. When I was jogging the other day, a wild Pokemon came after me. I ran so fast that I was on top of the waves, and I swear. Hmm. Okay. Alrighty. He must be smoking the dank, right? And, uh, well, before we battle anybody, let's go right ahead and find an item right here. Look at that. We found ourselves a tiny mushroom. Always nice to actually have right here. And, well, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon yet again. Let's go with Pennywise this time. Now... There's something that I could I could definitely remember from back in 2010 when I started my channel. And this is a huge shout out to Light Dark Neutral. Uh, I remember just planning the whole thing. And it was going to start in the start of 2011. Kind of like a New Year's resolution, guys. And we all know how, many, how, how annoying that can get with New Year's resolutioners that, you know, it's only one... It's only one uh, one month, and the next thing you know, they're going, they're back to their old habits. But for me, I was so excited to actually start a YouTube channel with Pokemon walkthroughs and all that stuff that you know I just couldn't wait. And you know, I'm actually glad that I've been continuing this thing for 11 years. 11 years, guys. 11 years playing this uh, or doing this uh, this channel. Now, some of you guys won't be able to see any of my older videos older videos like you know the very first ones the very first walkthroughs that I've ever had because I've deleted them I haven't privatized them I deleted them mainly because I wanted to revamp this channel and uh, you know it, it, on my end it was a good decision a very very good decision because well the change the revamp you know the restart it's gotten me 10k subscribers it's actually got me 5,000 more subscribers than back then. I remember being stuck at 5 to 6 K subscribers for like 2-3 years. I wasn't going anywhere. That's what made me want to like just quit and stuff. So, good decision guys. It's a, it was a big sacrifice. I know that many of you guys, especially the older, you know, my older fans would want to get to see those old videos again. But it's like, you know what, it was for the better, it was for the greater good of my channel right here. So anywho, we defeated this chick. I know that I've been going on a rant about things and all that stuff. It's just, I'm in the Christmas spirit, guys. Christmas spirit. And, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Oh, that statue! Did you find it underground? I've always wanted to see one of these. I'll give you one of these on, for saying thanks, and we get ourselves three star stickers, which is great, I guess. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and grab this. Three raspberries. Or two raspberries. Dyslexia, guys. Sorry about that. And we're going to grab this. Two more raspberries. And let's see. I think it's time for another repel. There we go. 
see what this guy's on. I wonder what's on the top of the Lost Tower. I'm very curious, but I'm also very scared. Huh. All right. Let's see. I think we need our bike for this one. Yeah. Okay. So let's go right ahead and do that. I always get like so trigger happy with this whole spot right here. Okay, hold on. Damn it, come on. What messes me up is the Pokemon is right. God dang it, you know what? That really annoys me. That's one part about the Pokemon is that return to Pokeball is that they're always in the way and it's just, it's ridiculous. Okay, so. One more. Let's go. Okay, there we go. And here we have a bottle of calcium, which is always great. It's always nice to have calcium in your bodies. Many of you guys don't know, I'm lactose intolerant, so the calcium that I get from milk, not really gonna work. It's just gonna make me poop a lot. And let's see, grab this. Here we found ourselves in Awakening, which is always great. And well, let's go right ahead and get ready for a battle right here. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to turn it up a little. Yes. There we go, okay. All right, bring it on. Let's get it. Okay, so here we go. Cowboy, or Cowgirl Shelly wants the battle. And here we have Bidoo. She's flying while she's doing this. The Lord and Savior Bidoo. Okay, all righty. So, let's see. Let's go back to Shadow. Oh, crap, baskets. Yeah, <laughs> forgot about that. Okay, so we're going to have to go with the, uh, the, 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 what you would call it, the, the stockpile and spit up and all that crud. Anywho, what else do I remember from like, you know, the 11 years that I've, have, I've had here on YouTube, guys? 11 years. Hmm. I guess you could say that I could never really, I never really saw myself playing games like this, doing post comps and all that, or uh, live comps. I'm just saying. And there we go with the spit up. That was easy. I think, that's, uh, I think that's one big thing that you guys uh, should notice is that I've never really imagined myself doing this. Uh, hell, even doing green screen. Learning a lot of stuff and all that crud. And, you know, it's actually been a very, very... It's been very good. Very, very good for me. Eventually, you know, like, you know, if things shoot up, guys, uh, hell. Might, get in, might be ending up getting myself, like, a small... Uh, another small office just to get myself, like, a, a pure YouTube room. You know what I mean? That kind of stuff. Put my green screen in there. That kind of stuff. Anywho, look at that. Another uh, another Pokemon fainted. And well, she, this chick's got a lot of Bidoof. Seriously, there are other Pokemon besides Bidoof. Why do you waste your time? I don't know. There we go. Mod Punch for the win. Look at that. The flame is going stronger. Okay, alrighty. Okay, and well, here we have another Bidoof. Let's go ahead and do this again with another Mod Punch. Here we go, Hadouken. Oh wow, you got you got five of these Pokemon. Ugh. Oh my god, oh my god, okay. And look at that, Rosemont grows to level 27, and uh, we're going to continue on doing this right here. So Bidoof again, and Bidoof be gone with the Mod Punch. Look at that, okay, Super Hadouken right there. Okay, alrighty, alrighty, look at that. In the competition, one by one, in Hydra, growing levels and learning new moves, and yeah, I'm going to take away Bite Attack because who needs two Dark Attacks right here? Okay, there we go, and well, just like that, we defeated Cowgirl Shelly. Seriously, bring yourself another Pokemon besides me, Doof. Okay, let's move on, and it looks like to me we're gonna have a double battle. Let's go right ahead and just wait for them. All right, don't care what you say, just battle me. Okay, so here we go, the uh, young couple, Ty and Sue, want to battle, and they're coming out with their own Pokemon right here, and we got both my flying type Pokemon, which is great. Now, if you guys can't see, Gyarados just shook, that's just a sign of loyalty, you know, it's about to start. Oh, <coughs> coughing, I promise I have no COVID, alright, here we go. And just like that, we got the Quick Claw getting ready to go. And here it is. Waterfall for the win. Yeah, buddy. Okay, and Pennywise. 
Anyways, growing levels right there, and here comes a Shadow Ball for the win. It grows bigger and bigger, and just like that, it packs a wallop. A huge wallop. Yeah, buddy, and well, there we go. The young couple has been defeated. They got some marital problems to take care of right there. Okay, all righty. Let's get the heck off right here, and uh, well, there's the Lost Tower, which we will be going eventually in the next episode. But here we are in Salacion Town, guys, home of the Pokemon uh, Ranch, the farm, or the, yeah, the daycare center right here. So, we're going to stop right here, guys. we got a lot to go to uh, in the next episode, but yeah, it was a pretty cool uh, episode, you know, getting Mystery Gifts and all that stuff. So, thank you guys again for watching, I will see you guys next time.